so good afternoon all of you uh, so this is the topic we are going to discuss in this particular session that is load flow solutions using gauss seidel method right there are uh, many load flow analysis there to identify the solutions right and uh, this is the one uh, which will give the solution very easily right there are uh, uh, many a uh, load flow analysis uh, solutions are there there are many analysis are there it was put forward by uh, many scientists as well uh, right but this one is the easiest uh, the load flow easiest load flow solutions uh, that we can get it all right that we called in the short form as uh, uh, gauss seidel method uh, so this one i think yeah here you are having the load flow solution using gauss seidel method a short form we call it as gs gs stands for gauss seidel method right uh, so there are uh, some unknown values are there right how to identify the unknown values in the network that is the challenge question right to four uh, load flow parameters are there that is real power reactive power voltage and phase side out of four uh, uh, parameters two parameters will be available right let us say uh, the real power that is uh, mentioned as p reactive power as q uh, then voltage as v and the phase angle as delta so these are the four uh, uh, parameters we need to identify in any load flow analysis right uh, so that is very important you need to take care <clears throat> so i hope you are able to see Uh, so in the uh, re uh, real power and uh, the reactive power is there we call it as uh, load plus uh, the voltage and phase angle uh, we need to find out right the voltage and phase angle is there uh, means we call it as a slack bus uh, right we need to uh, find out the other things sometimes voltage and reactive power will be given we call it as voltage control bus or uh, uh, generator bus there we need to find real power and phase angle Uh, so uh, by using this uh, given values we need to find out what are the unknown values right uh, for the unknown values uh, we need to find uh, the solutions right the unknown values through this gauss seidel method uh, so one example i am giving uh, right let us say example 1 so here i am going to give an problem or the unknown values from that we need to find uh, uh, some known values as well as unknown values will be given from that we need to find the unknown values uh, so just i want to draw a table this is uh, the input bus will be given uh, the real power will be given then a reactive power will be given uh, then voltage will be there and they may specify the bus type right uh, that is bus type uh, so the uh, first bus listen uh, real power value is not given uh, reactive power value is also not given right and voltage value is given that is 1.04 the value is given and the bus also they specify it is a slack bus hope you can able to see okay and similarly you come to the uh, second bus the second bus is given bus number 2 uh, so here the real power value is given it is uh, 0.5 uh, then reactive power value is given that is equal to minus 0.2 the value is given and the voltage value is not specified uh, listen carefully uh, for the bus 2 uh the real power and the reactive power is given easily we can identify the type of the bus that is p q bus or we call it as a load bus right 
And the next we can see the third bus, one more bus is given. And here the real power value is given that is minus one. Then reactive power value is given that is uh, uh, 0 0.5. And then the voltage is not specified. Therefore, here also we can see the type of bus is P Q bus, right? By using this, uh, uh, these are the given data actually. Uh, so in this given data, we need to find uh, the <coughs> unknown values. So this is the uh, table. Well, listen, I didn't take a uh, scale uh, to draw all those things, therefore, please adjust. Uh, so, the bus is given, that is, uh, therefore, three buses are there. Uh, here, we can see that a real power is uh, uh, specified uh, for the second and third bus. Here, also, we can see that reactive power, it is specified for the second and third bus. And here you can see that voltage is specified for the first bus. So these are the unknown values. Well, listen, normally uh, for the first bus, if it is a reference bus, we are not going to find out any values. But from the second bus onwards, we need to find out the values. So that is very important. Uh, therefore, here the second bus is PQ bus. Uh, so the unknown value is voltage as well as space and see. Nowhere I mentioned about the phase angle, but we need to find the phase angle also. Once you are able to find out the voltage, you can uh, easily find out the phase angle. Since the angle of the voltage, it will give the phase angle. Right? So it will be uh, the easiest thing uh, we can find out. So for that, so already I given you the algorithm uh, as well as the flowchart. Uh, right? And uh, that is how we arrived at that formula for the voltage that also I given. Right, for if the uh, bus number is I, uh, say for uh, bus I, right, so I is the uh, bus I specified. Uh, so, what will be the formula to find out uh, the voltage? Let us see that is, we can uh, write it as V suffix I, right, that is the voltage for the I, ith bus that is equal to. Uh, that is equal to 1 divided by y i i listen this are we got it from the ohm's law it is not a, a bigger thing the proof i, I given in the previous session uh, 1 divided by y i then this is in the numerator p i minus j Q i divided by V i star. Listen, V i star means it will tell you about the conjugate. If V i value is uh, 1 plus J 0, V i star means 1 minus J 0. Yes, I will write it. P i minus J Q i, right, minus, uh, there is a sigma, sigma, uh, J is equal to 1 to N means the number of bus. In our case, N is equal to 3, right? Therefore, 1 to 3 it will go. J is equal to 1 to N. At the same time, they will give you a condition I is not equal to J. Right? Listen carefully. V is equal to 1 divided by y i i P A minus J Q I divided by V star minus j is equal to 1 to n, i is not equal to j, right? Uh, then we need to write vi, that is yij, vj, or uh, vj, yij, yij, vj, right? Uh, so this is the formula. So if you are substituting this, immediately you can get the answer, uh, right? So listen, so here what are the requirements you can see that PI, uh, for example, bus 2, I is equal to 2 means that is V2, V2 is equal to 1 divided by Y2, 2. 
where to find out this y t2 that is important thing all right so for that they have to give the bus values uh, so if they are giving the uh, y bus values easily we can uh, put it so if they are not giving uh, if they are giving the network uh, we need to find the value of uh, 1 1 uh, y 1 1 y 1 2 etc all right uh, so i am directly giving the value right uh, since you um, uh, know that how to find out uh, the y bus values right if the network is given and how to find out the y bus values uh, you might be knowing uh, right therefore i am going to give you the values uh, of y11 y12 etc uh, right from that uh, we can you can uh, find out the other values right So I hope uh, this formula, you know that. Malison uh, here, uh, that is V A star. I need to mention that is V I. That is I star means it is conjugate, right? Conjugate of V. <coughs> Uh, so uh, we need the value of y bus to proceed uh, right therefore i am giving the y bus value directly uh, otherwise uh, listen if the network is given you need to form the y bus uh, but here i am giving the value directly that is minus oh God. minus 21.67j uh, that is the value given y11 y2 value is 5 y12 value is 5j y13 value is 6.67j and the two more rows and here we know that 1 2 is equal to 2 1 right and y 2 2 value is again minus uh, 21.67 j and y 2 3 value is again 6.67 j malaysian sometimes they will give the network uh, so if they're given in the network you need to identify the value right Therefore, here it is 6.67j because you know that uh, one, uh, 1 3 is equal to 3 1. Uh, so, here also the same value will be there. <coughs> uh, listen, one value I made it wrong. Uh, this value they given it as. Yeah, 10j it is. Here it is 10j. So here also the same 10j will be there. And uh, here value is minus 16.67j. Uh, uh, so I hope you are able to see this. Malaysian, this is the y bus. So this is the y bus matrix they given all right uh, from this we can find out the values of y11 you know that it is y11 1 2 1 3 all other values etc all right now what we are going to do means we are going to substitute in this formula uh, so this formula we are going to take uh, so for bus 2 we need to find out therefore what i am writing means for bus 2 right for bus 2 which implies uh, bus 2 means i value is equal to 2 right therefore what i am doing means uh, just i am substituting this uh, this is equal to v2 and i need to expand also expand this formula that is very very important now listen so i am just substituting that is v2 
that is i is equal to that is equal to 1 divided by y i i means that is 2 to y 2 to and then what we have to do means p i that is p 2 minus j q 2 divided by v 2 star right and minus and here uh, here I'm putting sub, uh, sigma and afterwards in the next step we can expand uh, j is equal to 1 uh, right i not equal to j that is y i j and v j it will be there uh, so we are going to expand the uh, next step i am writing here y i j v j above all right i hope you are able to understand now what we are do going to do means we are going to expand that is 1 divided by y 2 2 as it is that is p 2 minus j q 2 divided by v 2 star well, listen, V2 star means conjugate as I told, yes. Now we are going to uh, expand this one, right? J is equal to 1 to N. Therefore, I is equal to 2. Therefore, Y 2 and J is equal to 1, 2, 3, X, 1, 2 up, up to 3, right? 1, 2 and 3. That is Y 2, 1 and here J V1. Are you able to understand? I is equal to 2 j is equal to 1 therefore y21 v1 but it is not over again minus i is not equal to j see next if you are substituting n is equal to 2 here y22 v2 then i and j will be equal to right uh, 2 uh, therefore we can't put therefore what we have to do means next that is y 3 right that is now, uh, sorry, not 3, y2, uh, and i is j is equal to 1, we put j2, we can't put because uh, i, is, i is also equal to 2, therefore y2, 3, v3, right, uh, that's all, uh, therefore now what we have to do means we need to substitute the value of uh, y2, 2, uh, p2, q2, etc., that is equal to, uh, so you can see that where is y22 is present so y22 is here right minus 21.61 <clears throat> so if you are substituting uh, you will get the value that is 1 divided by y22 uh, let us see yeah here we are going to substitute my uh, 1 divided by y22 is minus 21.67 j right so this is what uh, uh, we substituted for y2 and p2 what is the value of p2 we can see uh, the top uh, so p2 is given in the table p2 is equal to 0.5 q2 is equal to minus 0.2 right we are going to substitute the same here that is p2 minus j q2 that is equal to 0. Uh, 5 right and minus of uh, uh, j q2 is minus uh, uh, point minus of minus it becomes plus right that is 0 0.2 j we can put divided by so here well, what is the value of uh, v2 see v2 value is not given right so if the v2 value is not given means what we have to do means we need to assume, right, if the V2 value is not given, we need to assume uh, that is V is equal to flat voltage. So, here I am writing, again one more thing, assume flat, flat voltage, that means, therefore, v2 is equal to 1 plus j0 right and similarly a v2 star is equal to v2 star is equal to 1 minus 
j0 right now what we are going to do means here we are substituting that uh, b2 star value that is 1 minus j0 right minus of now we are going to substitute the value of y2 so y21 value is here you can see in the y bus y bus that is y21 value is there that is phi j right you are going to substitute the value of that is phi j and v1 value v1 value is specified in the problem itself you can see that so this is the first bus v1 v1 value is 1.04 it is given right therefore what we have to do means what we have to do means we have to substitute the value of v1 here so v1 value is phi j multiplied by multiplied by 1.04 right and minus y23 value this is 21 22 23 value is here that is 10j that is 10j uh, multiplied by do you know v3 value v3 also we don't know the value therefore uh, uh, v3 is also flat voltage that is equal to 1 plus j0 listen carefully if the voltage is not given therefore we can assume it as a flat voltage therefore multiplied by 1 right so listen carefully this is very important right <clears throat> uh, so if you're able to uh, if you're able to substitute then uh, easily you can get the results right uh, so this is the uh, so this is the formula uh, you can see that that is uh, p2 minus jq2 divided by VT, uh, v2 star so as per our uh, previous derivations so here we uh, substituted the value and here again we substituted here we expanded the formula and substituted the value so if you're having uh, good calculators uh, so easily you can get the value uh, right that is uh, the value of uh, v2 <coughs> So if you are having the calculator, please identify the value and tell me uh, so that we can put it here. So one more thing. Uh, so once the substitution is there, I hope you can able to uh, find out the values. And similarly, we need to find uh, V3. That means for bus for bus 3 right uh, for bus 3 which implies i is equal to 3 i will give some space please wait yes we have to take the results also for this so just uh, giving some space to find out the next bus and therefore for bus 3 which implies i is equal to 3 here also the same thing uh, we have the flat voltage and all we need to do it that is uh, v2 v3 is equal to 1 plus j0 uh, right and similarly uh, v3 star is equal to 1 minus j0 that is the conjugate right <coughs> now well, once again we are going to apply the formula here that is v3 right so v3 is equal to that is 1 divided by y33 right we are substituting it in the formula uh, you can see the formula here here it is the similar formula we are going to do it that is p2 minus jq2 so here uh, it is i3 uh, i is equal to 3 Therefore, just I'm opening the bracket that is P3 minus JQ3 uh, divided by V3 star, right? Minus so here also Y31 V1 minus Y32 V2. We can write minus Y33 V3. But the condition is here you can check i is not equal to j, right? That is the condition. Therefore, we need to close it here itself, right? So once you are closing, you can substitute the values in the next line. That is equal to 
one divided by y three three value is given in the uh, problem. I can say that y uh, this is three one three two three three is minus sixteen point uh, six seven, right? Therefore, the value is minus sixteen point six seven. It was given, uh, right? And the next p three and q three value we need to find out. Listen, p three and q three value is where. Yeah, it is in the table. P3 value is minus one, and Q3 value is 0.5, right? We are going to substitute that. Uh, so here, that is P3 value is what is P3 value? That is minus one, right? That is minus one minus J Q3 value is 0.5. Therefore, I can write 0.5 J, right? Divided by V3 star, we know that. 1 minus j0. This is assumed value minus y31. Right? You can check what is y31 here uh, in the y bus. y31 value here you can say that 6.67j. Right? So you can substitute that value here. Uh, y31 value is uh, 6.67j. Uh, minus y32 value also we need to put therefore if this is 316.67j 32 is 10j right so here we are going to put y32 so listen before that i forgot to put y11 right that is y31 into uh, sorry v1 y31 into v1 v1 value is 1.04 that is given in the problem it is 1.04 minus yes now we need to put y32 y32 value is 10j right that is here we have to put 10j uh, multiplied by listen here v2 is the value we obtained here right so here uh, you got the value you know the v2 value right this v2 value only we have to substitute here so v2 will get one value what we have to do means that value we have to substitute here right so yeah this v2 uh, so you have to substitute here so once we are able to uh, substitute we will get the value of voltage right so so that is the in results of v2 and v1 all right so the question is we need to find uh, the voltage at the end of our first iteration right using gaussian method therefore we can find the voltages at the end of first iteration if you want to do the second iteration you can do it uh, there is no issues uh, right here what will be the if you're having calculators easily we can do it uh, what exactly the answer so anybody find out let me know please tell me the answer for v2 uh, so that we can substitute here so if you're having scientific calculators please put your calculators in uh, uh, complex mode all right then only it will be easy just to put uh, all these things directly this j and everything uh, therefore easily we can get the value uh, please substitute and uh, tell me the right value so that we can proceed.
So those who substituted, please tell me uh, the answer for V2. So once we check the value for V2, we can go for V3 value also. So here the value is No, anybody find out? Uh, let me know. I'm waiting for another two minutes. Now please let me know anybody got the answers. So what are the answer uh, that I am getting? I am substituting here. You can check.
please check the values. I'm getting a very big value like this. Okay, otherwise I will write it here. And the answer is zero point six nine two two where is yeah. Zero point six nine two two. Plus zero point two three J. Plus 0.23j well listen uh, so this is the value we got it for v2 so if you're having calculator you'll find out right therefore we need to substitute the same value here that is equal to 0 0.6922 plus 0.23j so if you are substituting here you will get the answer uh, for V3, right? So this is the way you need to find out the value of for V2 and V3, the unknown values, right? So this also you can do it. So if you're having calculator, please make it fast. So this will multiply by
Here it will be J, it is missing. So what will be the answer? The answer is uh, 0 0.861. 0 0.861. Minus 0 0.46, 0 0.046, right? Well, please check with your calculators. We uh, are getting the answer. So this is V3, right? So this is what we need to find out the voltages because these are the unknown values so this is v2 and this is v3 right now what about the angle angle means see this is in the form of a plus ib right so you know that how to convert this a plus ib into r theta right in your calculator directly you can do it Right, if you are having scientific calculators like FX100 or FX991, you can do it. Uh, so, if you are converting, you will get uh, one real term that is V2 is equal to R, comma, theta. It will come. This theta, it will tell you about the delta. Right. So, delta, we can find out in this manner. Right. Just to change A plus IB to R, comma, theta and we can find uh, that is v2 in the magnitude and <clears throat> del2 the angle and similarly here also we can find out that is v3 and del3 right therefore we will get all the values the unknown values of v3 del3 and similarly here v2 you got it and del2 Right, so this is the way we, you need to do this uh, exercise, do these problems. Listen once again, I repeat. So this is a problem given, it is a three bus system. Right, and uh, up to this it will be given. You need to know this formula and how to expand it. Right, we want the unknown values. Unknown values, we can see that V2 and here V3, these unknown values we need to find out. So how to find out the unknown values that we are going to see by using the gauss seidel method. Right, therefore, uh, these uh, real power, reactive powers are given and voltage and phase angle we need to find out for bus 2 and bus 3. Bus 2, we expanded the formula and we substituted this P2Q2 from the table and this is from the Y bus, Y22 and all Y values. And we found out V2 value and if you're taking, uh, converting into R comma theta, that is in the polar form, uh, definitely you can get the value of delta. And the similar manner, you need to do it for V3 and you can get the value, right? So I hope you understood. Uh, so if you are unable to understood, uh, please let me know. Uh, so that I can explain which part you are unable to understand. So if you know, means it will be very good, right? Anyway, I'm having some assignments also for you, right? Once you are able to do this. So be ready for the examination also. This is important in terms of uh, Gauss-Seidel method, load flow analysis.